Good morning, Grand High. My name is Ahmad. And my name is Daisy. Today is Friday, February 8th. And you're watching Pace is on demand. What are you doing? Pacers, we would like you to meet our new track coach. Our GSPN field crew got a chance to interview him and got the following scoop. Hey Pacers, I'm Kyron. We'll go check out track and field with a special guest. You are? Brian Lewis. And what'd you do? I am a track and field gold medalist, ran in the 2000 Olympic Games, uh, part of the United States 4x100 relay team. How did it feel to be in the Olympics and win the A gold medal? Well, being in the Olympics was awesome. Uh, very big experience. Uh, it was something I kind of, I had a small dream about it uh, as a high school kid when I first kind of learned about track and field. So it's never too late to learn the sport. And uh, I took it from there and like I said, I had a lot of support system behind me between my mom, my coach, high school coach, uh, even Coach Reed was part of that uh, process as well. So like I said, I thank everybody for that and I just have a love for the sport. How did uh, going to the Olympics influence you to become a new coach? Oh, wow. I want to see other people uh, feel the same success that I had, uh, the joy, the excitement. Like I say, uh, also, I mean, it took me to a free education in college. So, I mean, I loved that part. Uh, I loved just the excitement of, you know, seeing other people win. Yeah, this is the real answer. What's your time? Well, my personal best is 9.96 seconds for 100 meters, uh, which also had me ranked in the top two in the world in 2000 uh, as far as a 100 meter sprinter so it was awesome oh thank you for talking thank you thank you very much soon oh i was hand there you yeah. go thank you <laughs> but yep anybody want to come out and run we're here you guys are jade natasha james uh why should someone join track and field i think Everybody should at least try it. It's open to everybody. It's fun. You know, come out, have fun. Anybody could do it. So how has your coach being a gold medalist affect you guys? Having somebody who's reached the highest level is inspiring. It's kind of cool, you know, to see where he came from and him being from Sacramento and even this district is cool. Anything else you like that? Go Pacers, man. You heard her now. Go Pacers. <laughs> You are? What do you do? I'm Coach Reed, the head uh, track coach here at Grand High School. Been there for 30 years. Uh, as, a co as a coach, what do you think these new runners need? Well, first you got to come off with a positive attitude and not be afraid to challenge yourself. And we can't, you already can control what you can control. Don't worry about winning and losing because you have no control over that other than who's faster and who's not faster than you. So you got to come and prepare yourself mentally and physically to be able to come out for track. But it's not, it's, we have more than sprinting. Everybody thinks track's about sprinting. It's not about sprinting. We have long distance runners out here. We have uh, shot putters, biggest people out there throwing the shot put. We also have uh, pole vault and long jump. We don't do pole vault yet, but we have high jump and triple jump as well. So it's about 12 different events they can actually do out here. What do you think what trials they would face as the time progresses? Well, uh, one thing about it, you're going to get more and more, uh, as you get in the season, the competition gets a little bit harder, but that's the fun part of it. If you're training and what you're doing is, say, you're racing yourself every week. You're technically not racing the people. You're just trying to improve yourself every week. And you have people that you can you actually race against to see how you do. But that's not what I'm focused on. If you can beat them, I'm seeing it, that your time, your distance is improving every week. You become a better athlete. Is there any equipment you think anyone should bring? Um... Uh, Biggest equipment is a heart and a good attitude. That's really number one equipment. Once you get bring that out, you're ready. But see, our track shoes I got right now, I was able to pick up some track shoes. If you should probably look at some of the kids have them on right now. I got those for $5. They're brand new. They're um, I go to Ross store and don't get an expensive pair of track shoes. Go to Ross and look around and grab a pair of track shoes. And that's what you need right now. And just, uh, practice, uh, just clothes to practice in, you know, sweats or stuff like that. Um, that's really all it is because uh, we had a meet last week, they tell you about that. We had all-comers meet last week, and some of the kids did very well. 
we kind of do start early than most schools because that's just me. Because <laughs> I want the kids to be the, I train every kid to be a champion. If you're coming out here, I'm not training you. I'm training you like my best runner, no matter what. You know? So that's why I said, like, I want more kids to come out. But don't think you have to be a sprinter. You have to be fast to come out for track. Well, thank you for your time. Thank you. I just got done interviewing field and track and the gold medalist, and I'm going to go. I should probably run. Thursday, February 28th from 8 a.m. to 1.30. All pacers aged 16 and older are weigh and weighing at least 110 pounds are eligible donors. Blood donors receive snacks and cool t-shirts from Vita, Vita Lent, our blood collection agency. All blood donors will also be entered in a drawing to receive raffle tickets and could win prizes like gift cards, tardy passes, and tickets to school athlete events. So eat well, drink well, and see Mr. Shepherd or Mrs. Shepherd for a parent consent form or to schedule your appointment. We are the ones is a new musical play about three youths whose lives are forever changed when they are transported back in time. As the fabric of African American history is unraveled, each youth is challenged to look at their own lives and internal challenges and determine what their contributors shall be moving forward. Info and tickets at www.theater.org or at the open door. The door opens February 8th, 24, 2019, Friday at Saturday, shows 8 p.m. Sunday, 30, 3 p.m. location, Grant Union High School Auditorium, tickets, prices, general admission, adults, $22, students with ID, seniors, 65 and above, $18, children, $12 and under, $15. Attention Pacers, students, staff, family, and community. The LCAP is currently open to anyone who is interested in sharing their thoughts about how to budget for school spending. If you or anyone in the community wants to help upgrade our bathrooms or money for field trips or more technology in classrooms, now's your chance to share your opinion on the LCAP. Here's your link. Pay attention. It's tricky. For more info, go to the front office on Main or West. Girls basketball would like to thank everyone for their continued support. This year, the Lady Pacers are battling for a playoff seed, and it couldn't be done without your support. Please join our last home game tonight at February 8th. Attention students and staff. Real Life Poetry Club is selling Valentine grams for $1. Buy five and get one free. Send the Valentine's gram to your friends, BFF, secret admirers, favorite teachers, and students. Come to W14 at lunch to order your card. Deliveries will take place on Valentine's Day, February 14th. The prom is less than two months away, and we are still not the numbers we should be to have this prom. We have to have a minimum of 200 to have the prom, and right now we are under 200 tickets sold. We have to have the prom venue paid in full by March 23rd, 2019. Unfortunately, with this type of venue, you cannot wait until the last minute to purchase your tickets. The tickets are $95. I cannot stress enough on how important it is for you to make this prom a success. Remember, Grant has a prom on a cruise. Mental health awareness theme art contest has been extended. Pacers, CSF is hosting an art contest in partnership with both California Youth Crisis Line and the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline. Prizes will be awarded to first, second, and third place winners. Pick your contest guidelines from Mrs. Ms. Doan in counseling office. The deadline for entries have been extended to February 15th. Pick up your contest guidelines for Ms. Doan in the counseling office and deadline for entries have been extended to February 15th. Pacers on a Man is brought to you by the Grant Student Programming Network. My name is Ahmad. And my name is Daisy. Have, have an, an amazing, amazing day, day Pacers. Pacers.